Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, just a little FYI, there are constructions outside and the mic will unfortunately be able to pick this sound up. So yeah, just letting you know in advance if the audio is complete crap today. But yeah, Baby Monster uh, is finally debuting, which I, first of all, I forgot to check the time at which the music video would drop, which usually the time slot is always more or less the same, which is like 6 p.m. Korean time, which makes it like 10 a.m. for me. Yeah, out of habit, I thought that it would drop at the same time as I usually film and everything. But no, YG likes to keep things Things a little spicy. <laughs> it's kind of like with YG, you expect them to do something like the quote unquote normal, like more conventional thing, and they go the complete different route. And you guys know I like to discuss things and obviously ask for your thoughts and opinion and whatnot. When I say that YG likes to do things a little differently than what we would initially think of or wish for or, or hoped for, uh, that brings me to the whole Ion situation. Now to be completely transparent with you, I do know of Bimon. I have like a whole dedicated one hour long video for them where I checked their performance video, etc, etc. So I am aware of them. I, I am aware of the skills and everything, but the attachment that I have with them isn't as deep as the attachment that I had with, that I have with like other groups from YG, which I have really followed, you know, very closely from the very beginning and everything. So I think I do have a little bit of knowledge uh in history with yg to be able to kind of like bring it up and like ask also what you guys think of this situation so yeah bring up the fact that i don't know the girls that much and so my attachment with them the bond that i have with them isn't as deep as i have with like all the yg groups and everything because that also means that when the announcement that i wouldn't join uh the group for their debut i thankfully if you want didn't feel that strongly compared to some of you guys who are really following them like since the beginning and everything and so i also wanted to ask you about that like how do you feel regarding that decision and how are you guys hoping to see things happen in the future that's the thing with yg is like i have history i've heard i've been through a lot of shit okay i've been through a lot of shit yg and the thing is i would like to say that i've seen everything I, I've seen everything and yet they still managed to surprise me but a lot of times it's questionable whether it's like a good thing or not so like basically when I saw the announcement that she wouldn't join the debut I think I was more confused than anything because I am placed first so officially they said it was for health reasons and you guys know if you've watched my hour-long video that I hope for the company to really prioritize the members health and you know just based on what I said if they really took this decision because they wanted to protect their idol, then I'm applauding them like a hundred percent. All that said, that didn't remove the fact that I was confused and surprised over this announcement because it's almost like they had already, you know, they said that Bimon would like debut during a certain month and then they pushed it back already. And basically my question is like, why not push back the whole debut date so that you would debut all the members all at once like strategically speaking i wonder what i mean i'm sure they've thought about it probably this kind of, is kind of like their job right but like as a fan point of view like do you think it would have been better to wait and like push back the debut date until all the members could debut all at once or do you think this was the right decision to take and debut them in 2024 with a member missing yeah that was kind of like my little question so feel free to let me know in the comments down below i would love to hear what you guys have to say about this. All right, so without any further ado, I also checked the producer line uh, and who worked on the song and everything, very YG. And so am I expecting a YG sound from this? Yeah. Also with them being the first girl group from YG in like a very long time, right? I, I feel like I've been here before. I feel like uh, the words I'm about to say, I've said this for, for Blackpink like back in the days, like oof, like I'm getting a deja vu kind of moment. Basically with them coming from a label like YG, such as YG, with them having had already like a presence online and already having a really strong fan base, people are gonna have thoughts, people are gonna have opinions, people are gonna be judging them based on probably a standard that is maybe harsher. This is just me speculating obviously, but like when you come from one of the big three uh, and you come after Blackpink, people are gonna have surely expectations. And I'm not gonna lie, I do have some too, but I also know that, you know, the expectations is something that I am projecting projecting on this debut and I really shouldn't, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, so without any further ado, battle up, let's go. Attention! Yeah, if you had any doubt, this is a YG song. <laughs> Hey. I'm talking you, you wanted to, you big old 
착한 내가 어떻게 변할지 몰라. Remember me? Ah. Is that the same instrumental from Money? A similar sample or something? Because like it feels oddly familiar. Well, like that's the same instrument, whatever that's called. I mean, like I said, if you had any doubt that this was YG DNA, nah. Like that's the thing with DNA, right? It doesn't lie. And like sometimes you don't even need a DNA test. You can you just know. This you just know. Apart from like maybe interactions and everything, there's a reason why this is called YG family. The family, the DNA. This right here just screams of YG. Now when I see this, there are like so many references. Weirdly enough, for a de newly debuted girl group who I'm not that familiar with, this feels so familiar. And not in a bad way. Like I don't mean it in a bad way or whatever. Well, I guess for some people it could be a bad thing. I guess I'm gonna play devil's advocate. On the one hand, this having like full on like a hundred percent YG essence from the sound to the music video to the choreography to the build of the song, the structure and whatnot, you know, presence, the aura, the attitude, all of this undoubtedly is YG Inc. And I think a lot of people, myself included, is what we love. It's kind of like per per perpetuating if you want a tradition, even though the first generation of groups from YG you know, like, such as Big Bang, 21 and whatnot, aren't around anymore, not, aren't necessarily mu making music anymore as groups. We still have this ongoing lineage, if you want, of music that resembles the YG that we grew up with. And so there's a sense of nostalgia that I, I personally associate with this kind of music because, like I said, it feels familiar. And so that, to me, instead of sounding like completely out of my reach, this had the complete opposite effect on me. It, it gave me a nostalgic feeling almost because I'm like, yeah, I've, I've, I know this. And so I like this. I like seeing this, like, they, they were a baton. A talk about a baton in here, you know, so you pass the button to the next person, right, so that they could keep on going. And it's kind of almost giving that, you know, Hyun Sako's working on here, 
it really just feels like them passing the button to the next generation, not the generation, well, to the next newly debuted group, you know? However, on the other hand, I think this familiar feeling that I'm talking about might be the exact reason why some people would say that this is just YG doing YG again, that this is just like the same recipe being um, rehashed for them. Or perhaps that this might be also like predictable. Like I said, it's almost like a deja vu feeling and some people might feel that because of that it is the exact reason why they feel disappointed, if that makes sense. So like I said, I'm trying to like see both sides. I do agree on both sides a little bit. I feel like when I reacted to the performances and everything, I said that I wished <laughs> uh, that they would go that they would go for something that uh, that was really like R and B based because their voices just scream of that, you know, also with the performances that they've shown and everything. The biggest thing that stood out to me was how incredible their vocals are. And I think here unexpectedly they didn't really showcase it that much. Yeah, there's no high note now, is there? Yeah, oh my god. It didn't stood out to me until now. Oh, not gonna lie, I'm taking it back that there's no high note here. Now that's unexpected. I know I just talked about how this is very like familiar and everything to me, but I was, it's almost like in my head, because of how familiar it is, I almost heard a high note somewhere and, and I just went along with it. But no, th there's actually no high note in here. Oh my God. Okay, also the bridge, this. I know it's a very YG thing, but somehow this specifically, this one right here, just screams of treasure. I mean, again, it, it would make sense. He has like, worked on this. I wonder if he worked specifically on the bridge or not, because this just screams of treasure, I feel like. Okay, so let me gather my thoughts. I think the girls are phenomenal. The chorus is very catchy. When you look at their set of skills, the rap, the flow, the attitude in the vocals and everything, even the facial expressions, insane. Is this a good debut? Yeah, I would say so. But I do think, however, that they are kind of like missed opportunities here in terms of like debuting with something that is actually showcasing all of their set of skills, if that makes sense. I'm repeating myself here, but like with, with the vocals that they have and the skills that they have, having a song that doesn't showcase that vocal range as much is almost something that I wish they kind of like had really put to the forefront instead of leaning more towards like a performance based debut if you want. That doesn't remove the fact that they did phenomenal. That they did. They've got a powerhouse right there of incredible vocalists. I really wish they had pushed this more. But then again, I have to remember that this is a debut and from there on, they will only have more opportunities to showcase those. Yes, so I guess they really wanted to focus on a more like performance-based debut right here, showcasing their YG identity. This is also something that I said about Treasure when they debuted. I was like, I hope that after debuting, they would kind of like finesse this YG identity, this YG DNA to also include their own identity within it. This is something that I've talked about before, you know, but like each YG groups, even though they belong to the same, you know, label and their songs are recognizable and there's a signature sound, right? This YG DNA that I'm talking about, obviously, but each group have a different flavor still. And so I really hope that, you know, during the next comebacks and everything, we get to see this baby monster flavor getting, you know, stronger. And you know, I want them to keep this YG DNA, but kind of like mold it into like a baby monster kind of form, if that makes sense. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. I will wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one.